Pro Boxing fans here with John Ryder. John, it's fight week. We're here at a driving range, something you've probably not done before in a media event. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good. I mean, I'm, I'm quite a fan of golf. I like to play a bit. So um, it's got a bit of my better judgment today to start swinging clubs about a bit and hit a few balls. But um, it's all about staying nimble for the fight and uh, golf's not the priority at the moment. Um, let's talk about why we're here. Obviously, this big fight with Zach Parker, which will elevate you to bigger fights, but let's talk about Zach Park first of all. I'm sure you've seen him around the scene, you know, seen him around the circuit. What do you make of him as a fighter? Listen, good fighter, he's not put a foot wrong in his career yet, um, but I'm there to uh, derail the train on uh, on Saturday night and, and get my career from strength to strength. You come here as uh, the away fighter, you're fighting on a uh, Frank Warren show, obviously being a, a match of fighter yourself, but any pressure in regards to that? Do you need to do anything differently? Do you do you need to stop him? Do you think about judges? Is there anything like that going through your mind? No, I think um, just just put my best foot forward and do what I do. Um, people don't know I was, the, uh, I was the away fighter fighting Jacobs on a match from show at Ali Pali in February, so listen, it's not the bill and end all, but um, it's great to see O2 in the background there and um, to be headlining this. Um, it's great for my career at this stage and um, moving forward is uh, it's, it's a great 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 thing John is it is it fair to say that you've aged well in your career you know earlier on you had a, you had a couple of losses you were still finding your feet you know that Dan Jacobs performance was a great performance and even before that you know Callum Smith a lot of people had you winning um, you've just seemed to be aging really well into the sport yeah I feel like I'm a, I'm a fine wine getting better with age um, learning more um, Listening more, listening to my body, um, just growing more as a as a person, as a man. Um, so yeah, just learning from my mistakes, and and I've got great teachers around me, and Tony Sims, Dan Lawrence, Kevin Mitchell's in the gym day in day out. I can really feed off their their experiences and their past their past experiences. So listen, I'm of that mindset where you don't lose, you learn. So I've learned from my losses, and I've learned from other people and, and where they've gone wrong. So I'll continue to do so. You seem to have a very experienced head on them shoulders, uh, but there, there is something I want to talk to you about. A big head or a fucking just an experienced head? I'm not going to say anything about your head, I don't, I don't, I don't want anything from you, but look, there, there's this carrot dangling that's huge. Possibly the Canelo fight or getting elevated to WBO champion, regard, it matters what Canelo does at that time. There's a lot of talk that Canelo's coming off a, a wrist injury and the fight that he does want as a tune-up possibly is yourself. How much have you read into these rumours? How much are you re reading into this right now? Listen, for, for two years during the lockdown period, I spent two years following Canelo around the, around the world, really, being, um, being in Texas. Sorry, I was in Miami when he was fighting in Texas against Callum Smith, just in case someone fell ill and someone needed to step in. And then I was called out to Dallas when he fought Billy Joe, and albeit there for, to publicise myself, I was, I was there at the time. But I think now, moving forward, I just need to focus on my oh. career. Billy, jo um, sorry, Canelo's got other, other fights in, in mind. Obviously, there's the Benavidez plant winner that they want to take care of. He obviously wants to bring actual pivot. So, can't really afford to stand and wait around now, waiting for him to decide what he's going to do. It's about just moving forward in my career, get this WBO interim title, and listen, there'll be big fights to have off that as well. It's a packed and stacked division. I'm sure there's other fights that you probably can go down, but. There is there is a possibility that he does sort of look out of the past, and if he does go towards Bivol, it does mean that some you might be in a position where you become champion. Does that play in the back of your mind, though? We're not chasing, not chasing the champion, but becoming a champion of this fight. Listen, it's um, it's a it's a massive carrot at the end of it, but um, just got to focus on Saturday first and foremost. Um, and we get in there against a live opponent who's going to looks going to take my head off. I'm going to try and take his head off, so uh, the fans are in for a treat. But just so we get this out of the way, get Christmas out of the way, and, and look to 2023 and, and build momentum from there. John, I feel like you've been around this sport for a long, long time. Ever since I've been in boxing, you've been here doing your thing. Do you feel that now? Do you feel like you just, you, you know, you're good at where you are? You've got a good couple of years left. Where are you feeling at this present time? Yeah, I mean, listen, you're, you're as good as your last win, aren't you? And I've, I've got a great win behind me in the last win, in Danny, beating Danny Jacobs. Um, but listen, as long as I'm winning and doing well, I'll continue. But it's when, uh, when the fights start getting too hard and I'm taking too much stick, then I've got the people around me to tell me to call it a day. And I think hopefully the family, the, the partner, they'll, they'll give me the, the guidance. But I feel like I'll know it myself. Uh, John, I do want to sp speak about a fighter that you faced in the past and lost to in Billy Joe Saunders. We spoke to uh, members of his team who said, listen, he's back in the gym. He's going to be making a return at some point and he's going to cause, you know, he's going to cause a wave in this division. What would you make of the return of Billy Joe Saunders after a good couple of years out? Well, I have a Jew, really. I saw Billy Joe last week down at Ben Davidson's gym and um, he was 
he was training and listen he's got the skills to pay the bills isn't he um, listen he's, he's overweight at the moment but he can still know his way around the ring he can still box people's heads off but listen it, it, first things first got to take care of business Saturday night but listen the, the rematch is there so it's something I've wanted to put right and um, who knows down the line <laughs> Uh, another fight I want to talk to you about that looks like it is going to get made for the start of next year is Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Smith. Uh, wh what do you make of that fight? Uh, good fight, obviously. Is, um, they're both looking for a big fight now and both good names in British boxing. So it'll be a... <laughs> I'll tell you what, the fans are being for a treat there. What happens in that fight? I don't really know, to be honest. you got... Because Liam Smith is one of them... He's, he's got that dogged determination where I feel like he'll do anything to win. Um, and I don't know if Eubank's got that. I don't know if he's got that dog in him. And I just, I, I'd have to favour Liam Smith in that. And the final one I want to talk to yourself about before I let you go is a fight that look, it's not, it's been announced. It seems like it's going to happen at some point next year. But it's a big fight. Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Both fighters have announced it. Um, I think they're both going to have an interim fight in between, and then they're going to fight uh, at some point next year. But give me your thoughts on that fight. How does that fight play out? Listen, it's a great fight, but. These interim fights, I mean, it'd, it'd just be nice to get them in yeah. straight away. Do you know what I mean, I know obviously they've probably not been as active they want to, and uh, Ryan Garcia's had his, his bouts with depression and whatnot and mental health. So, let's, I'm all for him getting back into the ring and getting himself mentally mentally right before he goes into a big fight. But, I mean, if what, what if one of these goes gets an injury or one of them gets beat and the fight is kind of lost and, and we don't get to see it? So, listen, I'm, I'm hopeful that they'll both have good wins start of the year and by, by middle of sum, summer time next year we can see them both squaring off in the ring and um, hopefully be in for a good fight. Actually I do want to ask you before I do let you go, I want to talk about the World Cup, I know you're, you watch football. Yeah. Um, first of all, how far do you think England have got to go in this tournament? It's coming home isn't it? It's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> no mate, I don't know, it was um, a great performance the other day, um, I was shocked by Argentina yesterday getting beat by Saudi Arabia, um, as I think a lot were. Um, Mate, the stoppage time has been crazy. I don't think I've seen a game go less than 100 minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy but I, I, just, I just don't know. It's, um, obviously, you've got Portugal playing tomorrow. Yeah. Um, France looked good yesterday. So, listen, who, who knows? Germans think, always throw it up. Right. Throw it, throw let, it. Let, me, let, me, let me rephrase that. If England don't win it, yeah. who's your favourite to win it? If England don't win it... Um, I, was, I was back in Argentina from the start. <laughs> so I think I'll, I'm going to stick with Argentina because I think you get a better price than there because they've lost their first game. So if you're a, if you're a betting man, back Argentina. John Ryder, it's always a pleasure to talk to yourself, mate. Uh, no doubt we'll speak to you very soon. Good luck with the rest of fight week and then fight night Saturday night. No doubt we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. So.